Hey guys, Daily Tech here with another 60 second fix for your PS Move service. This time we'll be taking a look on how to get the PS Move service upgraded properly and confirm that it was done right. So that way you can use it with RiftCat or whatever DIY VR setup you have. First step is to download the latest version of the PS Move service, which is linked in the description below. It has just recently moved to the PS Move Steam VR bridge if you primarily use this only for Steam VR. You can and should read all of the release notes as some of it may have new features for you to enable or have different things that may affect your gameplay such as controller functions. Now open up your PS Move service app data folder and make a copy of your current settings. Just right click on it, select copy, then paste it again. This is just in case you have any issues with the new build and you can easily revert your settings back. Next, open up the downloaded zip file and copy the contents over top of your previous version of the PS Move service. And then double click on the reinstall driver batch file. Now that's it for the install. Now to confirm that the upgrade did go properly, run the PS Move service, then open up your PS Move log file and it should say the version you just downloaded. If you run into any issues with the upgrade, you can always rerun the initial setup batch file. Now hopefully that helped to clear up any confusion that might have been there for upgrading the PS Move service. If you have any issues at all with the upgrade, let me know in the comments below. And I've also put a link in the description below for the PS Move service Google Groups. There's a lot of people there that'll be able to help out. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We'll see you next time.